Hey there, it's Lauren from Rustic Honey and welcome back to my channel. Today, as promised, I'm gonna walk you through part two of my girl's bedroom makeover reveal and walk you through a little bit of my wallpaper DIY, some tips and tricks for you in today's video. Stick with me and I will show you how it all turned out. So I'm starting to think this is way easier when you watch other people do it. <laughs> um, it's not going too bad. I'm kind of learning as I go. Okay, I will say there's a little bit of a learning curve to the sticky wallpaper, but it's not hard and I definitely got better at it as I went. So the first panel is the easiest, and then after that you need to work to make sure your print is lined up on the next panel. That's probably the hardest part of the entire project. Peel back the first inch or two at the top and affix it to the top part of your wall, and then I found it easiest to just peel back a large section and use large swift motions with my hands instead of the small credit card. I later went back and just kind of peeled and pulled and used the little credit card to smooth any little bumps or wrinkles that I needed to work out. But the bigger section I did at a time seemed to actually work the best. I did have a little bit left on this roll, but to do to match up the print and everything, I was only able to do this much with one roll. Um, so depending on your pattern, you might end up investing in a lot of rolls. This is probably like a four foot by five foot area. Um, so mm. I do have a pretty good spot or a pretty good piece left, but it's just like this much too short. For another panel so i'm going to open up the other roll and then over here i have the window so i won't need quite as much over there anyway so i will say this is definitely not your mama's wallpaper so rest easy if you mess up you can easily pull it back off smooth out any wrinkles or bubbles and start again so the next thing i had to do was clean and touch up these walls so this room has served several different purposes over the years and i had never touched up the paint as you can imagine after kids it's kind of gross <laughs> so i needed to touch up some things and it really did help to freshen up the space now this room was our bedroom when we first got married and then when we added on to our farmhouse and had babies it became the nursery so it served a lot of purposes over the years and right now we are in a transitional phase out of the crib so as you'll see in the reveal we do still have a crib and a bed in this room but soon before i know it my baby will be growing out of her crib and into her big bed <laughs>
Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in the story behind this dress, meet me over on Instagram. I'd love to tell you about it.